<laughs> you know, usually I don't do this, but this was just too delicious to pass up. <laughs> uh, uh. For the past couple of days, I've been calling the Blackbuster Critic on some really hypocritical and shameful shit. He recently announced that he's become gainfully employed at Electronic Arts, not only one of the worst gaming companies, as well as companies in general, but a company he has had a history of being very vocal and critical of. As you can see here, he made a video just two months ago criticizing EA for their shitty business practices. He even said in the description and in the video itself to boycott EA. This is an individual who has been so against these companies and their business practices, yet now has become employed by one of the ones he was the most critical of. Does that make any sense to you? It shouldn't if you have a functioning cerebral cortex. But of course, as you can see here, he tries horribly to defend himself by damage controlling and saying it's just a job and that his own life and success is more important than sending a message to these companies that we're not going to take their bullshit. So basically what it boils down to is that he merely talks the talk, but when it comes time to do some walking, oh, he can't do it thus exposing himself as a hypocritical shitbird of a YouTuber, and I call him out on it. His response? Then I'm a sock account. So not only does he sidestep the factual smackdown of his own fallacy, he makes out the ass claims about myself without any proof whatsoever. I ask him to prove that I'm a sock puppet account, clarifying that I've only made a comment on a single video of his, not including the one that's deleted, and that said comment was actually a positive one. Here is the video and that comment that I left on it. Mr. Factual Research here could have easily clicked on my channel name, looked at my feed, and see this for himself before he vomited sock puppet accusations on the keyboard and posted it. But he didn't, and thus he failed to back up his faulty claim. Not only that, I further clarify that I'm actually a fan of his, as shown here. I also left a comment on the discussion portion of his channel, not only pointing out his sidesteppery, but also asking him again to prove that I'm a sock account. Not only did he not do this, but the comment got deleted. Furthermore, as I showed in the beginning, I go to comment on one of his fanboys slash white knighters idiotic logic, and I see this. BBC has blocked me from his channel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> guess it's not so fun when the shoe's on the other foot, is it, Jamin? You can dish it out, which I still admire you for, by the way, but you'll be damned if you'll take it. Like I said on that comment that's now been deleted, it's funny now that the facts don't support you. Not only do you ignore it like it doesn't exist, you actually try to hide it. You've officially been exposed as a shameful hypocrite that doesn't practice what he preaches and as a butthurt individual who can't take factual criticism. Now, I'm sure he'll try to damage control this further, not only continuing to say that his real life is more important than what people think about him on the internet, but I'm sure he'll also fall back on that clockwork defense mechanism of ridiculing me for dedicating time to making a video about him, <laughs> which would be fucking idiotically ironic of him to do, and me taking the internet too seriously. And to that I say, what would you say to that if I said this to your face in real life? Because you bet your ass I would, and I wouldn't give two shits how you reacted. 
It doesn't matter to me if it's the internet or real life. I regularly expose people on both all the time. Hell, I even regularly expose my own girlfriend of four years. I've been doing what you do since 2003, my boy. I was a troll before trolling became the internet equivalent of, I'm just kidding. You say you're the best duelist in the world? I'm pretty sure I just proved you wrong on that one, son. Enjoy that EA money. Hopefully, you're not foolish enough to make rant videos about shitty companies and their business practices while still gainfully employed with one. Well, you could, but it'd be pretty fucking stupid of you to do. For even more details on this matter, there's a link in the description to my personal message board where the exposure is further documented. The Great Exposer has spoken.